good morning you can see your car showing all sorts of error messages so I'm gonna be running a scan on this car to see what we have here as a fault code is that so all so 2020 RX3 um, it has this code um, on it it's been um it performs well drives fine but has a strange code on it just 57,000 miles car was well brand new so it's a lexus well i'm gonna be running a scan on the car now so here you have it here you have it so these are all the information it's showing um all the malfunction indicator light is on due to that code that is present there and i'll show you the code now so we have um p0174 system tooling and we have um p117bb for performance direct injector so i think um we will need to take everything apart you clear the code you drive for a while it comes back so i did the research there was really not much information online concerning this repair so um, what i'm going to be doing is um take apart everything on the engine here and um see if i can have the plugs and um injector nozzle serviced that's what i'll be doing i'll be taking everything apart now and um showing you guys what i did this car here has 12 pieces of nozzles it has a port foil injection and a direct foil injection so this is the first set i'll be taking out here and you would see how dirty it looks hence it should be giving us that performance code now look at the nozzles you can see how plugged and dirty they are you can see them so this is the first set of nozzles you can see this is six one two three four five six this is for the port foil injection that works with this manifold you can see how dirty the manifold is too now i'll be taking out the direct injections one two which are down there it's under there i don't know if i can see it it's down there i need to take about all those parts here to have access to it work is still going um this is the second set of nozzles i've taken out this manifold this car has two foil pump it has the in tank foil pump low pressure foil pump then it has the external foil pump the high pressure foil pump that works with this high um pressure injector lines these are the, the, the low pressure injector lines are the ones that i took out here that are very very dirty as you can see they are very dirty six of it now it also has um the other another six nozzles here that i'll be taking out to show you guys what it looks like this is a direct injection you can see where it's located right inside the engine goes directly into the combustion chamber and um you can see this is the high pressure foil line high pressure foil pump low pressure foil pump is inside the tank so i'll be taking out these nozzles here and you guys will see what it looks like i've taken out the i've taken out the foil rails you can see i marked this one here bank one and the other one here i marked it bank two so while putting it back together i don't mix anything although this one here has the high pressure fur line um sensor as the pressure sensor it has it here and um, what i noticed is these rubber seals for the high pressure nozzles came off they were on the rail so you need to be careful for that so that you don't lose them while you are assembling the car so it's not time for me to take out these nozzles you can see them down there directly inside the block the short block of the car so there are six of it one two three then the other ones here four five six one for each bank um i've taken out one of the nozzles here you can see what the direct injection nozzles look like the light so you can see what it looks like yeah now this one goes directly into the engine this part here goes directly into the engine you can see how plugged and clogged it is with carbon but um it has this rubber seal here that seals up the intake and the internal combustion 
the chamber from the outside side here yeah. and that is like this washer here so i'll be taking off the rest as well and having them serviced yeah guys so these are the nozzles here these are the portfolio injection nozzles here you can see how dirty they are with carbon build up on them you can see their faces here you can see how very dirty they are Understand? these are the portfolio injection nozzles and um, these are the direct injection nozzles you can see they too they have carbon build up on their tip you can see how very plugged they are so this could cause our uh, uh, issue we'll also be looking into the plugs as well and then um, looking into our air, in air index system to see how we could go ahead to fix that that is the knock sensor and this is where the nozzles we're taking out from you can see that's right in between the engine there so i'll continue to these are the nozzles and you can see how the solution is dirty it has broken down the compound broken down all the carbons to make it this clean and these are the spot nozzles too you can see how degraded the solution is so i'll be taking it out and doing further cleaning on it as well so we are back from cleaning now as you can see the um high pressure foil pump you can see the tips now you can see how clean the air compared to before and the low pressure foil pump um nozzle sorry you can see their tips are so clean now as you can see so clean and clear compared to before but they were very very dirty you can see their tips there and um the total butterfly that's the total body you can see that it's now very clean almost new and the plugs are all ready and gapped for installation properly gapped for installation 39 all of them 39 millimeters and you can see the high pressure foil pump let me show you the tips nozzles are high pressure nozzles see the tips you can even see the fine line if my camera could get to focus you can see the fine line there is now showing you can see them there that's a fine line showing there get it to stabilize and um so we're putting everything back together and um we'll see what we have we've assembled everything now and i'm about to start the car I will see how well it starts. So what we'll do, we'll start the car since we're taking out all the nozzles. What we'll do at first is uh, prime the foil. We'll just turn on the ignition first off. Let the foil prime for a couple of minutes. Turn it off again. Turn the ignition on, not starting the car. Let the foil prime again. Start the car. It will run rough at first, but later on it will balance. You can see how rough it's running, but it will get to balance very soon. Mm, yep. So, I believe that's the fix for this car, but then we would have to run a test run. I'll reset the, mile, I'll reset the mileage and we'll have to run a test run for like um, 25 miles to see. If the code comes back, it's running fine now. So actually, um, we set the mileage before I got on the test drive. I've driven around um, seven miles already, but I've reset it now. I'm gonna be driving this car for close to 15 miles to see um, if our code comes back. Um, is it. I've driven um, around um, 17 kilometers now, and, and we don't have um, check engine lights on on the car. And that's it there and as you can see here over here on the computer the trouble codes are not detected so I think this is a fix for our car and uh, that's servicing of all those stuffs and them um, checking on the plug resolve the issue so uh, I'm gonna be advising my customer to actually try to run this car on higher RPM from time to time this is a sport car it's meant to be driven as a sport car